Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Jesse. Today we're making these amazing little fruit tarts. They are so tasty and they go great with just about any meal. I adapted the recipe from a Bon Appetit recipe I found online. So I'll put that down in the description below if you want to check it out. But let's get at it. This recipe consists of two basic components, the crust and the filling. Super simple. So here are our crust ingredients. We got half a stick of butter. Just kidding. We have a full stick of butter. It's cold and unsalted. And you want to make sure it's unsalted because if it's too salty with your regular salted butter, the added salt will just put it over the top and your crust will be too much. You got two egg yolks, large egg yolks, one cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of almond flour, you have three tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. Here we're gonna go ahead and mix together our dry ingredients. So we got our flour, almond flour, sugar, a little more, and our salt. Go ahead and whisk those together. Now next we're gonna add our butter into our mixture. So you can either use your hands or you can use one of these little nifty guys just to kind of press it down. I like to use this because it's a little cleaner and it's a little uh, more fun. So I just do a couple pieces at a time. It's better if it's kind of cold. I think this kind of pressed down. You want to make sure that it comes into kind of large shaggy pieces, kind of incorporating as it go. The little chunks will create kind of butter pockets and create a really nice flavor to the crust. And if you're like me, you like a good buttery crust. Next we're going to take a tablespoon of water and we're going to whisk our eggs and then we're going to add that in by tossing it into the mixture. I'm just gonna kind of toss it over and just tossing it in there. And then we're going to form it into a ball and knead it a little bit. Make sure your hands are clean. No one wants dirty hands in their dough. I mean, maybe someone does, but I don't know who that person is. Okay, so here I've created a ball of dough and it's pretty well incorporated. So what we're gonna do is gonna move our bowl aside. This surface is clean. I'm just gonna cut it out like this. I know I shouldn't be cutting on my counter. I'm just gonna kinda slice it in half. Just lay it right on top of the other one. And press down again, kinda combining the two. I'm gonna do that one more time. This way. Okay, we're going to place this dough inside either a 9 inch spring form pan or a tart pan, but this time I'm going to put them in cupcake tins, so maybe I should clean that up, but we'll see. Next we're going to take some butter and we're just going to slightly gre grease this. The crust has a uh, bit of grease in it, sorry, slightly grease this. The crust has a bit of butter in it. So you don't have to worry about doing it too much. Now this is just a pressing crust, so I'm just gonna take off, you know, a good chunk of this, and we're just gonna literally press it in there. You don't want it to be too thick, but we're just gonna kinda eyeball it and fill up our little tins. Alrighty y'all, so I pressed these in. It only made about seven. Um, but that's fine for me. I'm just going to a little dinner party tonight that I'm making these for. So if you want to make more, you can make more dough. You can do them a little thinner than I did. I kind of like a thick crust. But um, yeah, so you'll place these after poking them with a fork on the inside. Go ahead and place these in the freezer for about 30 minutes or so. You want it to firm up before you put it in the oven. In the oven, I don't know if I said it before, but the oven is at 350 degrees, just getting a nice preheat in right now. Then we'll pop them right in. But meanwhile, we're gonna make the custard. 
While the tart crusts are in the freezer, we're just going to go ahead and go over our ingredients for our custard and we'll start to get that going. Whenever the tart is fully chilled, we'll go ahead and throw it in the oven and get that going. And hopefully this will all be done around the same time. You want all your ingredients to be chilled. So got some fresh berries for the top here, two cups of milk, got four egg yolks, sugar, cornstarch, salt, and three tablespoons of butter. And I also have a vanilla bean here. So vanilla beans can be pretty expensive whenever you buy them from the store. Uh, I got mine on sale, three for 10 bucks. So I don't know, they can get crazy. You can also use vanilla extract instead of vanilla paste and all the amounts of the ingredients, I'll go ahead and pop them in the uh, description because I just poured them out and measured them all, but I can't remember them all right now. So let's get started on that custard. Okay, these are all chilled after 30 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these guys in the oven for about 35 minutes at 350 degrees. You want them to be a deep golden brown and if the edges start to catch, just go ahead and make sure to, uh, you know, throw some tin foil over them or something like that. Okay, so take your two cups of whole milk and then I'm gonna use this fresh vanilla bean. So I just have the bean right here and I just toss it in. We're gonna whisk that out later. We're gonna strain it out. And then I opened it up and I scraped all the inside. So these are all the actual like vanilla beans. I'm gonna let the milk simmer over medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and just stir it around a little bit. You don't want it to fully boil or curdle, but you want it to come to a simmer. So like right before a boil. Oh, look at those vanilla beans. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. And I found it really does make a huge difference. It really makes a huge difference uh, using the actual vanilla bean. So if you can spare the extra couple bucks, go for it. If not, totally understand. It's no worries. Right after this has come to a simmer, we're going to go ahead and remove it from the heat. So you don't want it to stay on there and then we'll start the next step. Keeping an eye on your milk mixture, which is on the stove, make sure, and your tart crusts, which are in the oven, if you're doing it at the same time, go ahead and start on this by taking four egg yolks. Then take a third a cup of sugar, fourth a cup of cornstarch, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Oh, still got some in there. Just go ahead and get that out. Thank you, too. We're gonna mix this all together. Start out kind of slow, and then you will go pretty vigorously for about a minute until it come, becomes like a light yellow. Here. Oh, it's heavy. You can also use your KitchenAid or stand mixer if you want for this part. Okay, next we're gonna take our milk. I'm just gonna pour it right over. Keep stirring. Well, it's kinda hard to, but you don't wanna add the actual vanilla bean, so I'm just gonna try and avoid that. And we'll keep stirring that guy up. I'm gonna make sure it's all incorporated. Okay, next we're gonna add this back to our saucepan, and then it's this is where it thickens up, and you gotta be kinda careful, so. Let's do it. Over just a medium heat, you're just gonna keep stirring medium to medium low. You wanna be really careful that this doesn't curdle and become like a weird form of scrambled eggs. It will come together, that cornstarch will thicken it up and you'll have yourself a custard. Okay, so here it's uh, thickened up, so we're gonna remove it from the heat. Just take that heat off it, keep stirring. And then you'll go ahead and add the butter into this, piece by piece. My battery camera is dying, so I don't know if I'll be able to show it to you. Let me just try. Okay, we're still recording, let's see. Yep, you'll add that in. Do it till it's nice and smooth, and then we'll put it in the fridge with some cling wrap over top. I've transferred all the custard to this bowl here. 
and put some cling wrap just directly on the custard. Putting cling wrap like this prevents it from actually making a hard skin on top. I'll stick that in the fridge until it's cooled to room temp. Also, while we were doing all that custard stuff, I pulled these out as well. You can see they got a nice golden brown color. Now, I probably should have done them a little bit thinner because <laughs> they puffed up a little bit, but that's okay. We're just going to let those cool and we'll put as much custard in there as we can and they'll be good to go. After letting your cream mixture cool for a good bit, it will set and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it here in this piping bag. I'm going to drape it over the cup and I'm going to pipe it in there. Make it a little prettier and it tastes amazing too. We'll take some fruit here and we'll do some designs after I eat some fruit. And voila, they're done. They look so good. Well, I think we should just try one. Mm, that's really good. No crumbly. Mm. If I have any pieces of advice, I would say make sure to use that real vanilla bean if you can. If you can't, not a big deal. It still tastes so great, but it is so good. It's not overly sweet. And the little bit of salt you add in the crust is just a, an amazing balance between the fruit and the sweetness of the fruit and the sweetness of the custard inside. Guys, I hope you try this out and that you just leave a comment if you do below, if you have any tips for me. I'm still new, still learning. But yeah, until next time, bye. I'm gonna eat this now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm.